now you face an existential threat. If the heart stops beating, the wellspring of your power dies with it. Have we tried turning it off and on again? Tenno, meet the head of the Entrati family. What's left of her anyway? Mother, wake up! The most distressing dream. Here we go again. The wall of Loke was before us. I I had my my proofs. My father's. I could hear him. I could hear him tapping, tapping at the untimed door. Mother. We went in, but again, he wasn't there. My husband congratulated me. Sarcastic half-wit. All the while, Hiveweed was sprouting all around us. But it was just a dream. No, Mother. You did all of that. You're as wormed as the rest of this place. The heart is about to fail, remember? Oh. Oh. Oh, fuck. Functional? We are. And we've summoned Ship here to help us. It'll take more than an old Orokin thug to keep the heart beating. I have bounties, should you have the interest. I don't blame you. You're just the product. The Orokin had no respect for my father's work, though I suppose you proved him right in the end. Same as Demos. The infestation got in, got to me and my family. Stole our names, or ideas. I can hear its high voice scratching in my mind. Let the heart stop beating. Let the door close forever. Only my dreams seem real now. So... <sighs> I sleep. It's what makes you special. You know that, right? All thanks to my father. It pumps the arteries of the here and the void. The Entrati family has maintained it for an age, but it's breaking down, and only that idiot knows how to fix it. The man I used to call my husband. I think he's left for good this time. Hmm, maybe you can find him. Probably sulking somewhere outside. Oh, she cutthroat. You say he probably outside crying. Big hand, little hand, having it. There we go. Now I can move faster. Detecting active necromech signals nearby. It could be father. He loves a good fight. Whatever you do, don't mention mother. Nothing he hates more.
this must be one of the last of Father's Necromax. It won't last long. Its trottle is a valiant one, but I fear the worst for our metal friend. Ah, the stalwart defender falls. Rest well, noble warrior. May you someday rise again. Now, to business. How was that? Huh? signal was coming from over there. Thank <laughs> you. 
fight well for a runt frame. If you're ever interested in something a little more old war sized, wait, wait. Father F. She didn't send you looking for me, did she? Ain't got no arm. Uh, I am not going back. <sighs> Look, you were the second wave kid. The Necromex were void shielded, sentient pulse immune. As bright as a bag of hammers, and just as dependable. Not like you. <laughs> when I met her, mother, she was as brilliant as she was broken. Chasing her father's ghost, convinced he was still out there? I thought... Huh, uh, I thought I could fix things. I thought I could fix her. Like she was a loose light board or leaky hydraulic. So yes, she's right about me. I am an idiot. But I'm a reformed idiot. I'm done with her. This heart is breaking down is just another tactic of hers. Don't you see? Everything has to be about her. That went well. We must prove to Father that the heart is deteriorating. This will be more dangerous than any gray strain monster we faced. We have to talk to... Daughter. Okay, this is fun. Talk to mother, talk to father, I talk to the daughter. Father ain't got no arm. I don't know what happened to him, but he's down bad. Return to the necrolis. Alright, gonna give me a little drink before I start back. You a fascinating specimen. Organic fairs exoflesh, hybridized internals, and time trace. You're a tenno, aren't you? Alright, that's straight to the point. I'm here about the heart. Ain't here for no small talk. Straight to You need me to tell you where it is, which I wouldn't have to bother with if not for my parents whose collective heads are so far up their collective lower sigmoids, the only air they breathe is what they secrete. Ah, oh, that's kind of sweet. But look at us. We are beyond help. The disease vectors are too complex, changing faster than I can study them. We can only prolong the inevitable. 
Look, if you help me get back some of what my brother shredded, I'd be happy to return the favor. Deal? Come on with it then. What I gotta do? What I gotta do? You're going to help me rebuild my sample collection. You're probably wondering what happens to it in the first place. Why don't you ask brother when you see him? We call that worm Fass. Don't worry about him though. He's got bigger problems than you. His sister, they don't get along, as you'll soon see. This is a good opportunity for you, actually. There should be useful detritus falling from the explosion. Try not to get crushed, little one. Don't feel the least bit sad for him. He'll regenerate and even empty your head and exact his revenge. An endless cycle. Vohm's the only proof I've got that the hive mind can be divided. Just collect what you can so you can get to the task at hand.
Note the curious way they float above the surface to feed. Don't bother trying to spear them in the exocrine itself. Too damn viscous. Their biology is crucial to my study. Infested, but not entangled in shared consciousness. If there's a hope in halting our mental decline, it might be here in these humble little specimens. Get to it! Looks like you got the hang of it. But you have to understand, helping my so-called family is the last thing I'm inclined to do. You'll have to make it worthwhile. Alright, that's enough. Return the specimens to me and I'll give Lloyd what he needs to take you down to the heart. I'm afraid I cannot open the gate with hostiles in proximity. You'll need to destroy them before I even think of powering the door.
I remember my birthday. Woke with a knot in my stomach. The hum of my specimen tanks was missing. Silent. But I was surprised to find a little box wrapped in a red bow. A gift from my family that never, ever remembered. The note said, best wishes for my best sis. Can you guess what was in the box? A white powder, as smooth and fine as silk. My entire collection, cremated, atomized, and returned as a gift by my deranged brother. If you see him on your descent to the heart, don't be fooled. He'll stab you in the back if he thinks it'll get him a moment's notice from mother.